<coughs> the highlight of a four-year engineering program at Spain Park High School is giving students real-world applications to their senior projects. Fox 6 News anchor Sarah Verser shows what happens when students discover their projects really can affect lives. Here's a look at the problems they solved for special needs students at Rocky Ridge Elementary School. You touch the bird? Brandon, who has limited mobility, is able to turn the pages of his ebook because of an app Jonathan Phillips created. Mm -hmm. The applications on the iPad usually require either a swipe, which they're not able to do, or they require a specific spot to touch. Jonathan there. gave each image a delay so they don't fast yeah. forward if accidentally touched. It's a senior project for his engineering class at Spain Park High School. I think so often these kids are so good at paper, pencil and paper, and getting the right answer. You know, X plus two is four. You know, X is two always. But in the real world, it's not always, there's not an exact answer. So I wanted to hone in on those intangible skill sets. Their teacher, Scotty Wilson, teamed up with Ellen Anson at Rocky Ridge Elementary. She teaches the self-contained class of students with multiple special needs. Most of the students are here to simply solve a problem. What do you have on your pancakes? An electronic talker allows Jeremiah to tell me what he likes for breakfast. His talker can be used only in his wheelchair right now. And so when he goes home or if he's not in his wheelchair, he can't really use it. He can't communicate with people. So uh, we made a stand where it's like portable and he can use it outside of that wheelchair. Problem solved. Zach Newton and Cole McVeigh attached an apparatus to a tripod so his parents can carry the talker anywhere. And then Chris Judon demonstrates a walker he made for a student with cerebral palsy. She doesn't have very good balance, so this really helps her walk around without someone having to help her and be with her all the time. All of it is a godsend when you factor in and how outrageous the cost is for some of the apparatus that they use in the special needs classroom, self-contained classroom. And I was thinking, you know, I think my kids can do something for you. So this really helps you. Oh, it helps us out tremendously. Ellen Anson says it means the difference between her children having tools they need or having to do without. And I'm looking forward to a very long relationship with them, actually, because I'm already thinking up projects for next year that they can do for me. Sarah Verser, Fox 6 News, on your side.